Hello, this is George Senda, the guy from Pittsburgh, and earlier today I had the strangest thing happen. I went out and fed the cats. It was cold out there. I had a sweater on. It wasn't enough. I went and fed the outdoor cats at the senior center, and then I came home, did a video, unboxing, tried to get fuzzy, um, picture of her during the video she was under the Mac table staring at something and she jumped up in the air twice but my finger got in the way so I couldn't get her went down and fed the cats downstairs little girl mama cat kitten no papa cat no no uh, fluffy came back up here and unlock the door now I'm very careful not to let tiny one out even though I don't know where she's hiding most of the time, usually under the sofa bed, and someone said she may be burrowing into the mattress. She's not burrowing into the sofa bed mattress. It's real thin. I opened the door, and something that looked like a black cat ran out the door. But there was nothing there. It wasn't a cat. It looked like a shadow cat. Now... Years ago, my sweet little black cat, Minnie, was run over in front of my building. And I really cried for her so hard. I had a major sinus infection at the time, I think the first one. I went into respiratory distress, had to call, Kathy had to call the ambulance. I couldn't breathe. I was sobbing so much over her death, over his death, sorry. Um because he was such a sweet little black cat. He loved to sit on the curt perch that's behind me. He would come up and go row, 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 and loved to cuddle and loved to be petted and, and was just a big baby. And I still miss him a lot. And the perch used to be in that corner and for two years I heard meowing in here when there was no cat in the apartment. So that finally stopped, but I wonder if maybe it's Boop, because we love Boop very much, Betty Boop, our pudgy black cat that lived with Kathy, used to be my baby. I rescued her from a horrible fate. She, or someone had abandoned her and left her outside to starve. Uh, she was full of fleas and full of worms. We took her to the vet, got her defleed, got her deworm, got her shots, and I adopted her. But my Mickey cat, kept chasing her out of the building, so I had to give her to Kathy, so she had a place to live, and she lived there for years, she was very happy. I don't know if that was Minnie, or Boop, or another ghost cat, but it wasn't Fluffy, Fluffy's outside, it wasn't Little Girl, Little Girl's outside, it wasn't Fuzzy, she was in the apartment. And it wasn't tiny one because it wasn't a cat. It was the shadow of a cat. Uh, like a, a spirit cat or something, a ghost cat. I don't know what it was, but it ran out the door. But it wasn't a real cat. <coughs> Excuse me, real cat. I closed the door and said, what the hell was that? No, I haven't looked under the sofa bed for tiny one I will when this video is done but I saw Minnie's ghost in here once or twice running around shadow cat didn't meow at me or anything like that just a black form running down the hallway and I saw that like two or three times and then it would disappear so I don't know what I saw, but it wasn't a real cat, but it was a black shadow of a cat, and it ran out the door. Maybe Tiny One is projecting, I want out images psychically, so desperate she wants out, because she always was an outdoor cat. I don't know, but it was a very, very strange and, and scary moment. Not scary that I'm scared, but scary like, what? is that like something out of the x-files and i had the hardest time finding a picture of a ghost cat 
out there. There aren't pictures of ghost cat taking with cats taking with cameras or video video or anything. It's it's really hard to find a picture of a ghost cat on the internet. There's all kinds of pictures of black cats, but not black ghost cats. And this cat, whatever this whatever it was, it was all black or cat. But I saw it running out the door. But it wasn't tiny one. I don't know what it was. All right, this is George Senda, the guy from Pittsburgh. And stay warm and safe out there. And in some ways, I hope you don't run across a ghost cat. In other ways, I do. So I can talk about it if you tell me. If you've seen a ghost cat or a ghost dog or a ghost animal, let me know. And I'll do a video on it. Bye-bye for now.